Oh, nap time. It's Catter Day. Are you excited? I love you. Hey guys, it's Jasmine, and that was Puppy. And today we are going to talk about what is the best time of day to feed your cat and the best meal frequency. Before we get started, if you are new here and into cat stuff and things like kitty nutrition and especially raw cat food or fitness and nutrition and all kinds of fun-filled things for humans, then make sure to click that subscribe button below as well as the little bell icon that's right next to it because we do put out a new video every catter day. It's important to mention that when talking about meal times and frequency in this video, we're focusing on cats who are one year old or older. Kittens, especially very small kittens under eight to 12 weeks old should be feeding constantly, ideally nursing. Even younger cats who have been weaned off nursing and who have started to eat non-nursing foods, which ideally would be raw cat food or at least wet canned food straight out of the gate, still need to eat more frequently. And not only that, they need to eat more food per pound of their body weight compared to adult cats because after all, they're still growing at a really fast pace. And I have discussed this in much more detail in the video entitled, How Much Raw Food Should I Feed My Cat? Which I'll also put in the description below. If you don't know your kitty's ideal portion size when it comes to raw food, that is the first thing you need to figure out in order to know how much to feed at mealtimes. So if you aren't sure about what that is, then I definitely recommend going to watch the video I just mentioned first and then coming back to this one. So as we've discussed plenty of times here on this channel, cats are inherently scavengers when it comes to their diet. And that's not just the larger wild cats like lions and tigers and leopards, but even when considering feral cats in the feral cat world, they do not have food left out for them at all times, which is just one reason why free feeding is one of the worst things you can do for your cat. Now, when it comes to feral cats, studies have actually shown that they eat up to nine or 10 times a day, typically in the form of prey, which is small vermin like mice or birds or rats. And because they're constantly hunting for their food source for up to 12 hours a day, it's also important to consider they are much more active than domesticated cats. Cats are meant to work for their food and adapt to exertion before mealtime. If you've already seen my video entitled The Importance of Playtime with Your Cat, then you may remember the suggestion of having interactive playtime with your cat right before meals. This helps to honor their natural instinct that much more because even though they might not be technically hunting and capturing their food, at least you can encourage the physiological and physical and even psychological benefits that they would get if they were in the wild by mimicking a similar outburst of energy. So once you watch that video, or if you already know your cat's portion size, then you know that once you make the batch of raw cat food, you will portion out two days worth of food into your Tupperware or freezer bags. From there, it's pretty straightforward because you know that each container or baggie contains enough food to give your cat for two days regardless of frequency at this point. Like I mentioned a little earlier, studies have shown that feral cats need to hunt, capture, and eat multiple times a day in order to sustain the proper energy and nutrients. This has led to certain feeding approaches created by feline specialists, for example, like the five-a-day Felix plan. This plan suggests that the optimal feeding protocol for your cat would be to feed him or her five times a day, making sure to move the food dish location around each time, and using puzzles and games to put the food in in order to stimulate your cat, all of which is supposed to best mimic as if your cat was in his or her natural kind of wild habitat. Now, if you're thinking that that five a day Felix meal plan type protocol sounds a little bit overwhelming and, and even stressful, then I completely agree with you. Let's be honest, 
we're all cat parents here, I'm thinking, if you're watching this video. And so we all love our feline fur baby and want to provide them with the happiest and healthiest and best life that we can. But we kind of have lives too. And for the most part, most likely, that don't facilitate being able to be at home all day, every day, in order to feed our beloved cats five times a day in strategic locations using puzzles and games. I mean, you can't dismiss the research they did to come up with such a plan and the science and intention behind it. And it may work for some cat owners whose schedules and lives do actually facilitate that kind of schedule. And you guys know my motto by now if you've been around here, but you want to do the best that you can without stressing yourself more than you have to and definitely without being neurotic about it. Now let me pop in a little comparison here to humans and human meal timing options because as many of you may know by now that is my primary specialty and so I think it helps us better understand things even when it comes to cat nutrition and cat diet habits. Now let's take two separate people and this is assuming that both people are eating the same amount of calories or energy and nutrients in a day. Person A may prefer to eat two meals a day because it works better with his schedule and he thrives that way. While person B feels and functions his best kind of grazing throughout the day or eating four or five different small meals. Person A might get indigestion or simply might not have it work with his schedule if he eats too frequently, and person B might feel a little sickly if he waits too long to eat a meal. But both of them, person A and person B, are still successful in maintaining a healthy weight and living a satisfactory and generally healthy life. Now bringing it back to our beloved feline fur babies, by feeding your cat raw cat food or the prey model diet, then you already know that you are giving them the best species specific diet that you can. And by portioning out the proper amount for your cats, you know that they're getting the ideal amount of calories or energy and nutrients for them specifically. So when it comes to mealtime frequency and what times of day are best in order to feed your cat, I would say that there are two important factors to consider. What works in favor of your cat's individual digestion and behavior and what works best for you and your schedule. What has always worked best for puppy and me and what has seemed to be the most successful default for anybody who is starting their cat out on raw food or simply switching from free feeding to meal times is two meals a day. One in the morning, typically at dawn or within an hour of sunrise, and one at dusk, which usually ends up being about 12 hours after his first meal. This is also best considering his activity levels and the activity level of most all cats from what I've noticed, especially when it has come to cats I've watched personally or pet sat for. Unsurprisingly, and I could totally make a separate video about this, but our cats' actions very often, if not always, align with what is going on in nature. Full moons, new moons, big weather shifts before they even happen. It's absolutely fascinating how in tune cats can be and most all animals can be with the nature in things surrounding them. Now what that translates to is most cats, especially younger ones, also make pretty effective alarm clocks to when mealtime should be, which is typically dawn, around when the sun comes up, and when it goes down. Which I'm sure is needless to say for the many of you who have probably discovered that already. Now that's all not to say that there are absolutely times where 
I have fed him a little bit later or a little bit earlier than usual, but generally it's within the same two, two and a half hour time frame. And if it happens to be a day where I am working from home or I happen to be home in the middle of the day, then I'll give him some treats usually every now and then. And if you haven't seen it already, I do have a recipe on how to make some pretty awesome and really easy to make kitty treats, which I will link the video to that in the description below as well. So yes, feeding twice a day, dawn and dusk, has worked out great for us, and it works out great as a default, like I said, for people who want to try out feeding their cats at designated meal times, especially to get away from free feeding, and especially if you're transitioning to raw cat food. That said, you will find people who advocate feeding their cat once a day. And I'm sure there are instances where this has worked and does work for certain cats. After all, the argument here is that there are bigger, wilder, older ancestors like leopards and tigers survive typically on one large kill a week and have more of that feast or famine lifestyle, as opposed to feral cats who have their multiple kills or even multiple attempts to kill per day. However, in many cats, eating one meal a day tends to promote some behavioral issues and also vomiting, either because they ate too much too quickly, because remember, you have to give them their total amount of food for the day in that one meal. Or remember that cats have incredibly acidic digestive systems, so another reason for the vomiting could simply be that it was left empty for too long. As for feeding your cat three times a day, or four times a day. If that works for you and your schedule and you're able to sustain it and it works well for your cat and you prefer to prioritize things to where that is how it's going to be, then there's absolutely nothing wrong with going that route. All right, so let's summarize what we've spoken about today because I have a feeling this video is quite long. Cats are hunters and thrive with multiple feedings of the proper nutrient-rich species-appropriate food rather than free feeding. Feeding your cat two times a day is a good default meal frequency for cats that are one year old or older. Dawn or sunrise and dusk or sundown are two ideal meal times for feeding your cat raw food. But ultimately, the best meal times and frequency when it comes to feeding your cat has to align with both their inherent eating habits and your schedule as their human. And remember that kittens and younger cats do need to eat more frequently than adult cats do. And if you do have a younger cat who needs, say, three meals a day, but you are feeding him or her raw cat food, it is totally fine to set them up with a midday meal of a high quality, high protein, grain free, wet canned food. If you aren't home to feed them, then you can just invest in one of those timed feeders. And of course, remember to consider the amount of that food along with the rest of your cat's daily food intake. All right, guys, I hope you found this video helpful or interesting. There's obviously a lot to talk about when it comes to kitty nutrition and when it comes to feeding your cat the raw food diet, which is why if you wanna keep learning more, make sure that you do click that subscribe button below as well as the little bell icon that's right next to it because that way you'll get notified whenever a new video goes up. And of course, if you're new here, please make sure to check out the Cat Stuff playlist that we have for this channel because that's where there are a ton more videos on raw cat food, kitty nutrition, helpful cat parent and care tips and tricks. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up below and feel free to share it with your kitty loving friends. All right, and now is about the time where we see if, if puppy is compliant enough to grace us with his kitty presence. <gasps> Look at who it is. Say bye. Are you grumpy? Yeah. No. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next week. Bye.